Good morning, 7K world. How are we doing out there? Let's talk about uh, international expansion. How, we are already open in, uh, I think, seven countries. Uh, we'll count them in a minute. Uh, uh, and so how do you enroll someone in Singapore? How do you enroll somebody that's living in the UK? How do you enroll someone in Ireland or Canada uh, or Australia or New Zealand? Okay, you send them your link. And it doesn't matter what country they're in, the person that's in 7K will have a website. We all have one that looks exactly the same thing, no matter where it's at in the world, except maybe the language on it. And then we can change our language on our websites. Yeah, it's a real, it, 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 everyone can change the language on a website. And I gave a previous training on that, that what I'm gonna talk about is enrollment, okay? And so uh, let me go straight to sharing the screen because we're gonna make this uh, quick and simple. And how do we do that? And let's get to our website. So when you send them your link, they're going to get a website that looks very much like this. Now, sometimes when you send them their link and they, the uh, uh, ISP address, they, the uh, wherever they're at, it recognizes they're in a country and they won't get a page that looks like this. So they either gonna get a page that looks like this uh, when they uh, click on your link and that's your website and you know, we tell them to get started. Well, if they get this page, you must tell them or you must send them a text or send them an email or in the transmission of your link, you tell them to click on that flag right there in the upper right hand corner where it says the United States flag. If you're in the U US, if you're in the UK, when you send your link, it'll be a UK flag. If you're in Singapore, when you send your link, it'll be a Singapore flag. For whatever flag it is, you tell them to click on that flag. When they click on that flag, up comes the seven countries that we're opening. Okay, so I was right, seven countries. And so it's the US, it's the United Kingdom, it's Singapore, it's Ireland, it's Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. And you just tell them if they reside and they have an address in those, that country, and that's where they enrolling, then you want them to click on that flag. And when they click on that flag, it'll bring up the UK website and you tell them to click on get started. And I wanna just tell you, we're just gonna go through it. They make the same selections. Some will be different uh, on the different uh, 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 countries because some of those products may not be available in that country, when they're, but that's why you sign up in that country. The other thing is that you're gonna tell them as we always do right here, make sure they see your name right there as their sponsor. If they don't stop, start over again, get in touch with you, do not enroll. Okay, now the next thing is now you'll see that their country is that they're enrolling in is right there. So all the addresses and everything is set for that country. Just like we have all of our zip codes and everything in the US, set for the US, so it is in that country. And that's how they enroll and everything will be sent to them. And everything will be gauged for them to be in that country and building a business, earning the commission check and everything the way we do in the US, they have it in their country in Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, UK, wherever, okay? so. That's how we enroll a person and how we tell them now to enroll. Sometimes when you send their link, they come up with this, they get this page. It just automatically comes up, okay? And not your website, like I, I showed you in the beginning. And all you tell them is to click on the country that they're residing in and they're enrolling in. And that's how we enroll a person in another country. Now. They can enroll anyone in any of these countries too, okay? Now, some people who live in these countries 
but have a U.S. tax ID and a U.S. address may want to enroll in the United States instead of that country. And they have that capability because they have a U.S. tax ID and they have uh, a, uh, a U.S. address to ship the products to. And they may come back. Maybe they are temporarily living. Maybe they're an, uh, an APO in the military. We have people in the military that are in Italy. And they are working this business through their APO address, which is, we have people that are in other countries in the military uh, that have a US address. They're not using their APO. They're using their US address because they can't get their product shipped in that particular country where they're headquartered uh, through the APO. That you can only check with the company. And, and you know, don't just take the first person's answer. Make sure to make sure because everything is here that we want people to be able to engage in this business uh, if they can, okay? And in the benefit of being able to get a membership and get the products. And so uh, don't just take no. Anybody in the military, at, in the US military can be in this business, okay? And so, and can have a membership. And it's just a matter of where we work out the address and making sure that's done. Okay, hope that hope that clears up how we enroll a person. Everything else is the same. An enrollment, uh, there is no difference in placement because you either place on left or you place on right. So do they. Now, if they enroll in this uh, a country we're already open in, they can enroll people in that country and they do not have to have a tax ID. Uh, for in the U.S. or an address in the U.S. because we're open in that country and they place people left and right and they have they have uh, let's say in Ireland uh, they start out with the people they know they have left and right and then let's say a person above them gives them a gift from above their sponsor places a person on the same side they are which is going to go under their Ireland people on their common driving leg, their common working leg. Remember, everybody has one with their sponsor and their sponsor, sponsor, and their sponsor, 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 until, you know, uh, the, or when they enroll, they start uh, an opposite leg called a pay leg or opposite the common play leg. Well, now they are the top of that new common leg. And so now that person is creating an error. Well, what if a person signs up somebody over in Singapore? Well, then that Singapore person is part of the Ireland group. And then it, it goes how volume flows back up all the way to the top of the computer. And, and, it, and it tags points to everybody in that line that it goes up to. Okay, so that was just a quick afternoon. Enrolling people in a country we're already open in is nothing more than clicking on the flag and, and enrolling. You might have a couple of uh, exceptions uh, of, about, like military with APO addresses. And you're, now let's take the case that you want to pre market into a country. Uh, they and Mexico's not here. So you cannot enroll a person that's living in Mexico uh, unless they have a tax ID and is a citizen of any one of these countries. Yeah, you can open up. A person may be living in another country, but if they have a residence, they have an address, they have a tax ID in any of the other countries that we're open in already, well, they can enroll. And then they put their address in the country that they're enrolling in. So if they're living and working in Mexico right now, uh, and they, they uh, are, are an American, 
and they click on the American flag and put in the American address, all the products are going to be shipped there, though. So they better trust that person that their products are being shipped to. Okay, now their vault is theirs. It's global. It's a digital vault. It's a digital wallet, just like, you know, your bank accounts. They're global. Okay, and so that it, so that person can participate. Now, can that person enroll a person in Mexico? No. I want to understand, I want you to understand it. No. They can only enroll a person in Mexico like them that has a US, uh, UK, uh, Ireland, uh, Canadian, and they only enroll in the countries that were enrolled in. And they must have an address there and they must have uh, be uh, a tax ID in the country that they are enrolling in. It's just that simple. So uh, uh, how would a person if, uh, enroll a person, let's say in Mexico or South Africa or, or, or uh, Germany or Italy or uh, Spain? Uh, well, if uh, I just shared with how they would enroll, what that person in Spain, let's say, now they want to enroll a person that's in Spain and uh, they uh, don't have a US address. They don't have a US tax ID. Well, what if they have a relative that's in the US and has and they, they will not be an associate but they want to buy the products, they want to get placed. They want to be part of this because eventually one day it's going to come to Spain. And they want to have a chance to be in, in this organization, be able to buy some of these unique, uh, uh, rare collectible products and understand that they're getting positioned and being able to get the other benefits and being able to learn all about the business before it comes to their country. And because they will become one of the more knowledgeable persons uh, about the business when it does open. Well, that's the advantages of uh, people doing this and having patience and being able to wait out until they open in their country. But people will seek to go and join people who are the most knowledgeable when you open in a new country. That's just it. Or, you know, there's cultural ties and there's there's knowledgeable ties and, you know, all, there's a whole set of different semantics in global business in the US, okay? But uh, for the most part, a lot of people will gravitate to those who know how to present, know how to explain things, know how to answer questions. I mean, just like you. Who do you, who, you want to join somebody that can't even answer a question if they're not hooked up with a person who can answer all the questions? Okay, that's the key. You got to have a support team. This is one another business. And so people around the world are just like you and me. Okay, and they want to be, they want to have the greatest chance to succeed. And that's really kind of what happens. So that's why it's good for a person to engage in this and learn before it ever comes to their country, okay? But you gotta do it right or they're gonna lose their, their position in the long run anyway, okay? So they get in and they can never become an associate until that is open in their country. I mean, they can only, if they sponsor anyone, they can only sponsor on one side, the same side that they were placed on in that same leg. But I tell people in your pre-marketing, you know, unless you actually have a tax ID address in the US and everything, you have no association with any country to be open. Just do not sponsor anyone. Just get yourself positioned, get learned, everything else, because that's the right way. Uh, and don't worry, you. if you do buy your product every month, you're gonna accumulate all those points in the bank just like we do in our business. And they'll have, they have points on their side because of the product they're buying every month. And then it keeps them active and they build up all that bank volume. 
So when it does open up, they're going to be able to pull off checks a lot real quick, real fast. Of course, they have to have one on their left and one on their right, just like everybody else does. But then they'll be building their pay leg only because uh, they'll rank up uh, with, with customers and things like that. And uh, maybe only one builder on their uh, bank side. And because that's all you need is one builder. You don't need eight. You don't need 10. You don't need 12 or 14. You only need one at any level as a builder on your bank side. Okay, so hopefully that answers the questions of how, to, how we enroll a person and how we get uh, uh, a business, uh, a person positioned in a country. We're not open. And the fact that they're going to have to have patience and have pers and be persistent about learning and 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 understand the 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 you can't push a con the company into opening early in that country if they're not ready. They've got to get all their uh, ABCs done, all the legalities done, all the registrations, all the abilities to securely ship product. Uh, the distribution set up, the support set up, the, the, the uh, uh, tax, the register, everything has to be done correctly before 7K is going to open up in that country. And they've been preparing to open up in several international countries over this last couple of years. And it's just a matter of, uh, uh, of when we're going to actually start rolling it up. And I think we're going to see a lot of action this year in several countries. Uh, because everything about COVID is is uh, finally being exposed and, and everything's opening up. And, and so I think a lot of, uh, my personal opinion, I think a lot's going to happen. That's why our first national global convention ever with 7K May in Las Vegas is going to be so important. Hope that helps. If, you, if not, you know, watch the video over and over again until you, till you understand it. I thank you so much, and I'm going to answer questions uh, offline, okay?